Forget the creepy crawlies under your bed. Millions of years ago, Earth's forests, swamps, and waters teemed with insects so massive and menacing, they'd make modern bugs look like harmless specks. Picture dragonflies with wings wider than your arms, scorpions the size of cats lurking in the undergrowth, and armored giants slithering through the mud like living tanks. These prehistoric horrors dominated a world of lush ferns and towering trees, turning every shadow into a potential ambush. Tonight, we're plunging into the most nightmarish ones to ever crawl, fly, or swim. And by the end, you'll breathe a sigh of relief that time has buried them deep. In this alien era of high oxygen and vast wetlands, these colossal invertebrates evolved into rulers of their domains, shaping food chains where size and savagery meant survival. Fossils whisper tales of their adaptations, from venomous stings to crushing claws, revealing a brutal balance that echoes in today's ecosystems. So, envision yourself shrunk down in that steamy carboniferous fog. Could you evade their grasp? Let's count down the terrors, starting with an aerial assassin that owned the skies. Don't let the delicate wings fool you. This prehistoric powerhouse, Meganura, boasted a wingspan stretching up to 75 centimeters, about 2.5 feet, making it one of the largest flying insects ever to buzz through the air. Soaring over Carboniferous swamps around 300 million years ago, this dragonfly-like griffinfly patrolled like a hawk, its four translucent wings humming as it snatched smaller insects mid-flight with powerful, spiny legs designed for mid-air captures. Thriving in oxygen-rich atmospheres that allowed such gigantism, Meganura was an apex aerial predator, its large compound eyes spotting prey from afar in the humid, fern-choked forests of what is now Europe. Imagine looking up to see this eagle-sized insect diving toward you, its mandibles ready to pierce, pure aerial terror. But if the skies were bad, wait until you meet a ground-based venom master. Scaling up the nightmare, Pulmonoscorpius stretched up to 70 centimeters, about 2.5 feet long, rivaling a house cat in size and making it one of the largest true scorpions in fossil history. This carboniferous beast, from around 345 to 330 million years ago, prowled the swampy floors of ancient Scotland with book lungs for breathing air, a robust exoskeleton for protection, and a tail tipped with a venomous stinger potent enough to subdue smaller arthropods or tetrapods. As a terrestrial predator in oxygen-enriched environments that fueled its growth, it ambushed prey with pincer-like pedipalps. Its body plan eerily similar to modern scorpions, but supersized for dominance. Picture it scuttling through the underbrush, pincers raised and stinger arched, a living trap waiting to strike, yet for sheer scale on land. Our next entry slithers into even larger horrors. If size alone could terrify, Arthropleura takes the crown as the largest land invertebrate ever, coiling up to 2.5 meters, over eight feet long, and weighing as much as 50 kilograms, like a segmented serpent armored in tough plates. This millipede-like arthropod roamed Carboniferous and Permian forests from 345 to 290 million years ago, scuttling across Europe and North America on dozens of legs, its body a fusion of millipede and centipede traits, with a newly discovered head featuring stalked eyes and antennae. Surprisingly herbivorous, it grazed on vegetation in equatorial swamps, but its massive form and potential for defensive chemicals made it a daunting presence. Fossils show it as a detritivore thriving in high oxygen conditions. Envision this car-sized crawler emerging from the mist, its segments undulating endlessly, harmless diet or not, a sight to freeze you in place. But beneath the waves, an even more armed aquatic fiend awaited. Diving into watery dread, Jacolopterus reigned as the largest arthropod ever, reaching up to 2.5 meters, eight feet long, with chelicerae, claws, spanning 45 centimeters, 
like living shears in Devonian freshwater rivers around 390 million years ago. This Eurypterid, or sea scorpion, from what is now Germany, was an apex predator with high visual acuity from compound eyes, ambushing fish and smaller invertebrates in estuarine habitats, using its spiny legs and powerful tail for propulsion. Fossils reveal a robust exoskeleton and paddle-like appendages for swimming, making it a swift hunter in ancient waterways, gigantism likely aided by abundant prey and oxygen. Imagine wading into a prehistoric stream, only for this armored giant to surge from the depths, claws snapping, underwater panic personified. On land, though, swarms brought a different kind of collective terror. Shifting to you social dread, Titanomurma queens flaunted wingspans up to 15 centimeters, six inches, and bodies over five centimeters long, making them the largest ants ever, dwarfing modern driver ants in Eocene forests around 50 million years ago. Found in sites from Europe to Wyoming in Canada, these giants formed massive colonies in warm, humid climates, with workers potentially foraging in armies and queens founding nests after nuptial flights. Likely omnivorous or carnivorous, they dominated landscapes post-dinosaur extinction, their size possibly linked to warmer temperatures, allowing for larger ectotherms. Picture a horde of hummingbird-sized ants marching through the undergrowth, mandibles clacking in unison, a swarm that could overrun anything in its path. But misconceptions breed even stranger tales, as our next reveals. Once hailed as a spider nightmare, Megarachne was actually a Eurypterid, with a body up to 34 centimeters, 13 inches long, and legs spanning 50 centimeters, gliding through carboniferous freshwater around 300 million years ago in Argentina. Initially misidentified due to its chalicerae resembling spider fangs, fossils corrected it as an aquatic predator with a hard shell, large eyes, and sweep feeding style to capture small prey in rivers. This great spider turned sea scorpion hunted invertebrates and fish, its mislabeling reshaping views on prehistoric diversity. Envision it lurking in murky waters, pincers extended like traps, deceptive and deadly. Yet the ultimate crown goes to a flyer that eclipsed them all. Claiming the throne as the largest insect ever, Meganeuropsis unfurled wings up to 71 centimeters, 2.3 feet wide, a Permian predator from 290 million years ago, years ago, that dwarfed modern dragonflies in North American skies. This griffin fly, similar to Meganeura but larger, hunted with spiny legs and strong mandibles, thriving in oxygen-rich air that supported its massive frame and active flight. Fossils show it as a hawker, pursuing insects in fern jungles, its size a pinnacle of invertebrate evolution. Imagine this crow-sized behemoth swooping down, wings beating like thunder, evolution's perfect airborne horror. Here's the eerie reality. In a world of giants, survival hinged on outgrowing or outsmarting the competition, from sky dominators to swamp lurkers. Fossils unlock their adaptations, driven by ancient climates and parallel modern insects' roles in ecosystems, reminding us how environmental shifts can spawn or doom such wonders. Who knows what undiscovered relics still hide, hinting at even more bizarre beasts. So, which of these ancient nightmares would haunt your dreams the most? Drop me a line below. I'd love to hear your pick. For more chilling prehistoric plunges and survival sagas, subscribe to Ancient Beast Files now. The past crawls with secrets and the discoveries never end.